Hey everyone, we are here for another Medicare Minute. We're here with Daniel, the Medicare expert, and today's topic is Medicare Advantage versus medical supplements. That's something that you hear a lot of chatter on, which is best, why should I get this one versus that one? So today, Daniel is going to explain that to us. So give us a breakdown between the two. So the primary difference between Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement plans is going to be kind of how you pay for them. So a Medicare Advantage plan typically has no premium each month or a very low one, whereas a Medicare Supplement plan does have a premium each month uh, and it does tend to be higher. We're looking anywhere from, we'll say about $100 to $300 a month for a Medicare Supplement plan. The main difference there is gonna be when you have that supplement plan, whenever you go to the doctor, uh, any kind of provider, you shouldn't really have any kind of copay. Everything's already paid for because you're paying that higher amount each month. Okay. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, whenever you go to see your doctor, specialist, any kind of provider, you have a copay. So if you think of it like a Medicare Advantage plan is going to be similar to an employer's plan. So when you're employed and you have coverage through your employer, whenever you go to the doctor, you're going to have copays mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Whereas a Medicare Supplement plan, whenever you go to the doctor, it's already taken care of. So it really varies by individual, which plan's gonna be best for them. Okay. Let's say if, if you go to the doctor more often, you're more sick, maybe a supplement plan's better for you because in the long run, you'll save more money, even though you're paying more each month. Or if you don't go to the doctor, hardly ever, mm -hmm. then a Medicare Advantage plan will be better for you because you're already not using the doctor services right now, so why pay for them in advance? Makes sense. So is there any type of, in terms of going to the doctor and networks and things to that nature, are there any differences there between the two plans? Yes, there are. So with a Medicare supplement plan, it utilizes the Medicare network. Somewhere around 90, 95% of all providers in America use the Medicare network. So you can go anywhere you want with Medicare supplement, as long as they accept Medicare, then, they'll, then they will take you. With a Medicare Advantage plan, it's a little bit different. They have what's called an HMO, which is an in-network plan, and a PPO, which is an in or out of network plan. Okay. It's cheaper to go in-network, but you do have the option and flexibility to go out of network as well. It is just a higher cost to do so. Okay. Um, so with a Medicare Advantage plan, specifically an HMO, you do have to use that network that that provider uses. So let's say it's with United Healthcare. You would use United Healthcare's network unless it's a PPO plan, which allows you to use the network or go out of it okay. at your choice. Okay. And so when someone is looking and shopping for different plans and they want to make sure their doctor's covered, is that something they can come to you and you can tell them that before they sign up for that plan? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So we always, whenever we're enrolling somebody in Medicare, we always make sure we take a look at their medications and their doctors to make sure they're covered by that plan. Okay. And that's something you can do through the carrier's website as well. They'll have a provider lookup tool on their website and you can just put in your doctor's name and see if they're covered on that plan. Awesome. Thank you, Daniel, for the information. And as always, guys, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. And any of the websites that Daniel referenced will link down below. And thanks for watching.